more than ever, there's a lot of pressure to weigh in on societal issues mm -hmm. um, for CEOs. You can't just sit on the sidelines and have your employee base be okay with it, or even your customer base be okay with it. You kind of have to take a side and have an opinion. In the States, one of the big things happening right now is Roe v. Wade, um, which is the woman's right to an abortion. Um, a lot of executives have not spoken out about this. It's complicated. If they do, it could be illegal um, at some point. But Susan, I do have to ask you, you are one of the most powerful women in the world, and you're an incredibly powerful executive. So what is your stance on Roe v. Wade? My stance is that women should have a choice when they become a mother. I believe that's really important. I believe that reproductive rights are human rights. And to take away a law and a right that we've had for almost 50 years will be a big setback for women. But that's my personal view. Running a company that has a that really focuses on free speech. We wanna make sure that we're enabling a broad set of opinions, that everyone has a right to express their point of view, provided they meet our community guidelines. So yeah, this is, um, you know, this is gonna be complicated legislation, as you said, like people will want us to speak out on it. It's also draft right now. And so there's not definitive language. Uh, like once we saw it, we started to look and then try to anticipate what kind of changes that would have for our business. For example, employees, like what kind of benefits would we want to offer to employees who could be in states where abortion is no longer allowed, or what implications could that have for our advertising business, maybe um, content misinformation, there could be ways that could be um, spun, for example, people saying, oh, abortion is not allowed in this state when it really is. So this has led us to realize that there's going to be a lot of work for us to understand what this legislation is and what are the right ways for us to comply with it. And how are you talking to your employees about it? Are they, are they demanding answers from leadership? Are they, you know, how, how is it going talking to employees about sensitive situations like this? Well, employees always ask us lots of questions. And um, just so you all know, we actually do company all hands almost, well, I do a company all hands every Friday where anyone in the company can ask me anything. Um, and so, as you can imagine, I get a lot of questions about everything involving our business and things that don't even involve our business. Like, this is not, um, this is, a decision that is, of course, completely out of our hands. Uh, I mean, I, I, you know, our goal generally is to speak up on the issues that we see really matter to our employees and that really matter to our user base. And this is an issue that is going to have dramatic implications, you know, because it's early and it's draft. We haven't, we have spoken internally you know, at, at a high level, but you know, we're still waiting to understand what the final wording is and what the final implications are. And you know, based on what, what is actual real, then you know, we'll take whatever are necessary steps in terms of having to comply with it, but also try to figure out how to make sure that we are supporting our employees um, and doing, doing what we can um, to interpret this in a way that makes sense for our user base. Yeah.